Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be taking you through what I ate over three days of being vegan. For breakfast, I had pancakes and cinnamon sugar. That was basically just sugar because I didn't add enough cinnamon. Then for lunch, I had a chickpea mayo wrap using homemade tortillas and I tried something different by adding raw onion to my chickpea mayo knowing full well that I hate raw onion but um, everything else covered it up decently I guess but I'm never going to do that again because no. For supper, I had one of my favorite meals to make. It takes literally 20 minutes. It's all done in one pot and there's no hassle at all and it's super high in protein. Some lentils and pasta. This is the sauce I cooked the pasta and lentils in. And then I also added a bit of Nando's hot sauce because a meal is not complete without hot sauce. After this, I went on to have a slice of bread with some peanut butter just to up my protein. And just because I really wanted it. And then for breakfast the next day, I went on to have one of my favorite things, which is ever on toast. And then I also had that with chippy mayo on toast, which is really, really good. <laughs> And then for lunch, I made another wrap, but this time the filling was this quinoa lentil thing. I don't really like quinoa, but I bought a bag a few months ago, and now whenever I remember that I have it, I just randomly add it to things. I actually enjoy the texture, but it's the taste I don't like, so... When I add it to other things, I don't mind it, but when it's by itself, it's ugh. And then for supper, which was really more of a snack, I had a maniola, a yogurt, and banana bread. I could have had one more meal, but I wasn't really in the mood to eat, so this is all I had. But I actually really did not do badly in terms of protein. And 
Then for breakfast, I had the best peanut butter in the world with ever on toast sprinkled with salt, garlic powder and black pepper. I made a big batch of the quinoa lentil thing so I could have it over multiple days. And on this day, I decided to have it in a sandwich. And then I basted it, in quotes, in barbecue sauce. And I always do that to a lot of my sandwich fillings and that makes them very, very good. I thought I was only going to have half a mignola with the sandwich, but I finished the whole thing because these are quite tasty. And then for my final supper, I had lentils and quinoa. I just cooked the lentils in some Marmite for savoriness. And then tomato puree, soy sauce, garlic. I think that was it. And then I also had these veggies that had been sitting in my fridge for months now because I forgot I had them. And hot sauce, of course. For a snack, I warmed up some banana bread and I had it with the vanilla soy yogurt from Woolworths. I love that stuff. My favorite is the strawberry, but they didn't have it in stock this week. Hopefully they have it next week because sometimes they just randomly don't have vegan things in stock and that is very, very frustrating.